Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Golden Opportunities Coaching YouTube channel. Welcome to those of you who are new. We've got over 1,300 of these available for your listening pleasure. Variety of topics we continue to bring you the best we can, as often as we can. Um, usually several times per week, although my schedule, especially this time of year, is a little crazy. Hopefully that will ease up in May, although I'm trying to plan a summer move as well. Anyway, uh, in any event... Um, kind of looking at things uh, such as dealing with rejection. So uh, we get a two-part series about rejection, um, and that's kind of what we're looking at. If you are overcoming rejection or just uh, negative emotional consequences from relationships not going well, coaching can be a great way to deal with that. Please feel free to reach out at PO Perception on Twitter and or in the About Me section of this YouTube page. Either one will give you a connection with the uh, better part of things, and we can continue to go forward in a good way there. Uh, the the first thing a person is going to be is they're always looking to be at their best around you. This is because the perception that you have any level of weakness could be turned into being less attractive, and so the fear of being seen as weak would cause a person to measure their words carefully or be hypersensitive about how they look or appear both emotionally and physically around you or kind of connect with the idea that they have to have all the answers when around you. So if a person is constantly feeling like they always have to be at their best, that's another sign. Um, constantly checking themselves in a mirror or other forms of, emotion, uh, of uh, physical preening, that is kind of flattening out their clothes or checking their makeup, doing their hair, um, just kind of being very fastidious and, and nervous around the idea of how they look physically is another sign of, um, you know, uh, the way in which a person is, is feeling about the level of the relationship. Nervousness. So nervous tics will increase when a person is fearing rejection. This is because they're so in their head that their automatic system is working on overdrive and, th and therefore... Many times the fear of rejection will make a person have those, those tics and those issues. Um, the next is overly apologizing for not being clear, not being concise, being um, in some way potentially misguided uh, and or you know, not being able to portray themselves in the right way. So the apology is more about the wasted time that a person may perceive when they are um, you know, not able to articulate themselves well. In other words, the fear of judgment, which ultimately comes down to the idea of um, being out of, out of kilter with somebody and then not wanting to be rejected will make a person over-apologize if they feel like their uh, interest will not be, will not be um, ultimately connected. And so uh, the, anal the, the nature to kind of plan things so plan time spent, plan um, only activities that a person who they are crushing on will will be interested in is another key factor. In a lot of cases, um, that key factor is more about just the idea. Um, you know, that there's there's some th some challenges there, and ultimately that becomes uh, uh, overwhelming because the need to feel the the need to be anticipatory and planning can take away from some of the spontaneity in relationship building, which ultimately can make a person feel like they are performing rather than connecting. And performing rather than connecting is obviously something that the average person doesn't really want to deal with. Um, there are challenges associated with that, and that can become overwhelming, especially if a person has the nature uh, um, of kind of being in a negative space or, uh, you know, there's, there's uh, a, an interesting run there. Um, after a kind of a long view, you, you also kind of look at yourself and go, can I sustain this level of supportiveness of my potential partner? And a lot of times people feel the pressure and if they're prone to anxiety, frustration, or anything else, it can be super, super difficult to maintain this level of uh, um, sensitivity. So hopefully 
This is helpful. Keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.